Good morning, everyone. I'm Gary Garcia from the Philippines, and I'm a GEG leader for GEG Ortigas. I'm a Google innovator and a Google trainer. For this session, uh, I will show you how to use a Google site as your online classroom. So basically, uh, sometimes we have interruption of classes, or sometimes we have to go, uh, we have to be off from school. Um, so we can utilize Google site to continue learning and uh, engage students and uh, do something with our class. So we are not interrupted. So let's start by creating a new website. So to create a new website, all you need to do is go to your Google Drive and then click New and then click More and then look for Google Site. So once you click uh, Google Site, you have a fresh website. So uh, a website, basically, we have the landing page or the home page. So usually a home page contains the basic information or the description of your website. So for example, this will be our home page. So you put a title for this one. So welcome to our site. So you put a name for your website. And this will be the title for the website. Now, what in, one of the important things that you need to do is to name your site. This one will be the name that will appear in your Google Drive. So whatever you put here will appear in your Google Drive. And then so we have now a page. So basically, this is the home page when you use the when you distribute to your students the URL. This will be the first page that they will see. Now, to include some text at the bottom or on the main page, we have here three tabs, the insert, the pages, and the themes. So we'll be dealing more with the insert and pages because the themes is so easy. You just have to select one of them, and then that's the design of your website. So let's start with insert. So the first uh, one that we will insert is the text. So we can give more text for our page. So we're basically, for example, we have uh, the description. So usually you go here, you type here the description, description of the website. So usually what I put here is the vision mission of the school, uh, the goals, and the use of this website. So just type all the things that you need to to put here. So when uh, after typing, you can now format them. So I'll just populate the text. Uh, I'll all you need to do is select if it's a title, if it's a heading, or is it a subheading? And then let's say uh, this will be the normal text. So you can see the different sizes for uh, each formatting, so you don't have to worry about formatting. So you can focus more on the content of the page. So that's one. So another thing that we want to insert sometimes is, uh, let's say, a photo. So you may reduce the size of the text so you have more space for the photo. And let's say you want to insert the photo here. So click on Insert and then Images. Okay, You may upload a photo or you may select a photo. OK, uh, I would suggest that you upload everything in Google Drive before make use of them, because um, there is a limit for the size for Google Sites. So uh, I do not advise the use of upload. So let's click on Select. Now, when you click Select, you may search on the web for a photo. So let's say uh, Google Site, Okay, or oh, by the way, it's, this is for the use of URL, but let's say you want to look for an icon of Google Sites, so just type Google Site, and you click the search button. So let's say I want to insert this. There you go. So I double click it. But the thing is, I want to put it on the right side of my text. So it's so easy to manipulate them because what you need to do is click and hold and then drag it on the side. So you'll see it's automatically placed in there. So you may resize them. So you can uh, arrange them the way you want. So another thing that we want to insert sometimes is, uh, so this will be the home page. So we have a home page now. So let's say 
you want to insert uh, a photo, a different background for for our header. So we can change the header type to, uh, so sorry, we can change the image by selecting or uploading again, or select an image by selecting an image or use. So we have different ways of of uh, using an image as our as part of our header. So let me make use of this one. So I'll click select after selecting the photo and you have it there. So this is our home page. So let's say you want to have a different page for each week or each day. So let's say we'll call that one as page one. Okay, so I'll click, I'll go to pages and then click on new page. So I'll type here pay or week one, week one, week one, so, and then click done. And then we have a new page. Take note that it copies the looks of the first page. So if you notice, we also have the home page here. So this is our initial page, and this is our week one. Okay, so you may want to change the image again of your week one page, so it will look different. So there you go, that's how you change. So in on the home page, we have text and image. Let's say uh, here we want to make, so we put another text here for week one. So instead of clicking insert and then text box, you may also double click the page, the blank area of the page, so you have the shortcut menu. And then you click on text, and then let's say objective, so you have your objectives here. So let's say we have, uh, we have. let's make use of some bullets. And let's say objective one, and then let's say objective two, and so on. Let's say objective three, okay? And then, so we format this, let's say, as heading. And then we'll have another one, let's say, the topic for today. So topic for this week, for example. So topic for this week, I'll change it again to heading. And then you have the, you may now enumerate the topic. So for example, topic one, topic two, and then topic three. Okay. So also, um, you also want to make use of some hyperlinks. For example, you have references. So references, and then you have URL one. So you put all your URLs here. So let's say this is the word that you want. Not, you may, you don't have to put the actual URL, or you may act, you, you may put the actual URL. But sometimes, let's say reference friends about uh, creating creating a site okay so you may highlight them and then make you may click the insert link so this will become clickable or what we call hyperlink text so when you click that one you may now give the actual URL sample www.google.com and then you click apply so it will become a hyperlink to that particular URL so let's say uh, change the form format of this as heading so we have text we have images and sometimes well for an online classroom it's it will be good to record the video and then insert it in your page so we can also insert a, a video by clicking insert and then look for your YouTube video so it is advisable that you record the video and then upload it in YouTube so you don't have to save it in your Google Drive. Okay, so for example, uh, Google Site 101. Okay, and then let's click on search. And then once you uh, see the, the, the URL or the video, just click it and then click on select. Okay, so you have now the video inserted in your Google site. So again, you may just simply drag them, lay out it properly, and there you go. Okay? So now we have two pages, the home page and the week one. 
So let's say we want to add again another page. So week, week two, and then let's say we have another page, and then week three, week three. Now, take note that you have more than 10 weeks of classes. So it will be good to put them as a sublink of a particular, uh, a sublink of a main page. So let's say this will be our class encounter. So we'll call it class encounter. And then we want to have week one, week two, and week three as the sub page of class encounter. What you need to do is click and hold the page itself and then drag it on top of the main page or class encounter. So there you go. You will see that it is now a sub page. And look what will happen here. So we have a drop down and it disappears. So let me click on week one and then drag it on top of class encounter and it disappears in the navigation, but it's now part of the sub menu of the class encounter. So what are the other things that you can insert in a page? Everything that you have in your Google Drive can be inserted in a page, all the folders, the files, whatever type it is. Now, so we have example for text box images. And then if you want to embed a specific URL, you can do that. If you're not good with layouting, you can make use of these templates. You can also make use of collapse, collapsible text so you don't have to put all the long text in the, on the page itself. So you can also include table of contents and all of these things. So what's good with this is that you may use Google Forms inserted in the page, on the page so you have the submission bin using Google Forms. So everything here can be inserted uh, on in your Google site. So basically, it is uh, limitless. It, it depends now on the creativity of and your imagination and how you will design your uh, website. So that's how you create a Google site as your online classroom. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.